Good morning, Bishop Lynch. Today is September 18th, 2013. I'm Sophia Vieira. And I'm Larissa Bonacquisti. And you're watching this week's edition of Across, Across Campus. Campus. Hey, Sophia, what you doing? Oh, nothing. Just researching the State Fair of Texas. Just seeing how Big Tex is doing and all the new fried foods. Mm. Hey, I know someone who would know a lot more about this. I know Danielle and Lizette have more on this report. Let's hear what they have to say. With school in session and daily routines that are becoming habit, a highly anticipated day of fun is bringing joy to the hearts of students. Fair season is looked forward to from the end of its se season in October to the day it opens officially. With the traditions and expectations the fair holds, how will you make this year memorable and what will it hold for the future? Um, I just look forward to going with my friends, just having a good time. Uh, probably the last time I'll be able to go for a while if I go off to college next year. What are your feelings toward the new Big Tex? Um, I, I don't really care that it burned down. I've always been scared of Big Tex because he's really big and intimidating, but I guess it's good that they rebuilt him because he's kind of a Texas icon. Um, it's pretty sad, you know, he's been around for a long time, so it's sad to see him go. I think it's nice that they replaced it, but um, can't really get better than the original, because that's like, it's, been, it's like a tradition. Um, my mom's ex-boyfriend in high school made the outfit for Big Tex. Beginning in 1887 in debt, the State Fair of Texas was only known for its community feel later expanding to hold the attractions and foods that we have today. This year's most notable food is a deep fried Nutella wrapped in a crispy dough topped with strawberries, bananas, whipped cream, and powdered sugar. One time I went and Oprah Winfrey was there and she she like handed me a um, fried peanut butter and jelly sandwich so I got to eat that from Oprah. So that was pretty cool. Um, the food and the rides. Probably the food. That was my favorite part. Turkey legs. Um, I like the rides. I don't like roller coasters. Um, I like the sky ride and the, everyone goes on the Ferris wheel. It's just With new foods, attractions, and additions to the state fair, it's hard to remember how it all began. Next week when you go to the fair, remember its history and importance. This has been Danielle Rogers and Lizette Bersiaga reporting for Across Campus. Thank you, Danielle and Lizette, for that report. We hope that you enjoy everything that the fair has to offer on our school's fair day. I'm so glad I have a parking spot this year. I mean, I feel so bad because so many other people don't have one. I'm wondering how all these people are adjusting to all these changes. Hey, I know someone who has more in that report. Who? Shelby and Maggie. Let's hear what they have to say. Recently, Bishop Lunch started construction to better the school. Well, then conveniences now from parking and construction all be worth it in the end. So, with all the parking and construction, how do you feel that will better the school? I think uh, the addition of uh, over 40,000 square foot uh, of a new building with a gym and a student arts center, um, dance and band hall, is really going to upgrade the quality of um, atmospheres that those programs need to continue to excel at the level that they have. I think a lot of, especially athletes, since it's the new gym, will want to come to BL just because it'll be a lot nicer and more modern. I'm really excited about the new gym, especially since it'll be a lot bigger and hopefully have more courts so we can have more practice time and don't have to practice as late. Bishop Lynch will go through many phases of construction over the next few years. Some of the phases include the renovated locker room, the new gym, and the demolition of St. Dom's. According to Ms. Poff, the chief financial officer, the project will cost about $25 million. The current project costs a little under $10 million. How do you feel about the parking? I don't really have a problem with it because I don't drive, but I have a ride every morning and every day after school. I think since it's assigned parking, we have, a, we have a spot assured for us. So that's kind of good, um, but it's the parking situation itself is really hectic. I think close to 50 uh, sp spaces that are lost right now because of the construction fence, mm -hmm. um, but we still will lose, we'll have a net loss on what we used to have. 
in, in the stadium lot. So this will be worth it in the end next year? I definitely think it'll be worth it. I'm really excited for the new gym and I think it'll turn out really good. Construction is going to be really sweet when it's all done. I'm sad I'm not going to be here when it's finished. Little sisters come here, then I'll get to see the school like all finished, so that's cool. Even though Bishop Blitch is expanding and we expect more enrollment, that will not change why people come here. For the strong community and the tight-knit Friar family. This has been Shelby Marsh and Maggie Jones reporting for Across Campus. Just remember to stay positive through all these changes because it's all for the best of the school. Thanks, Maggie and Shelby, for that report. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Across Campus. We'll see you next time. Where the news is. Right where you are. Across, Across Campus. campus.